hey ChatGPT users, have you found yourself stuck on crafting that perfect prompt? Or perhaps you have been frustrated by disorder of unstructured chats or you are tired of writing the same prompt again and again and again. Then watch this video till the end because I'm going to share a wonderful Chrome extension that will solve all your pain points and it's completely for free. So the name of the extension is Super Power Chat GPT. With Superpower GPT, you can store all your frequently used prompts, eliminating the need of typing it again and again and again. The prompt history feature lets you navigate with ease, and that's not all. You can even organize chat in separate folders, making it a breeze to keep track of different projects or topics. Think of Superpower GPT as your AI personal assistant that can do all your backend monotonous work while you're working with Chat GPT. So you can focus on the most important task and that is your creativity. Now let's see how we can use all those features of Superpower Chat GPT. Now to add that extension, all you need to do is search for Superpower Chat GPT. The first option you will get, click on it. And if you haven't added, it will show option add to Chrome. I have already added, so it is giving me an option remove from Chrome. Now, once you have installed it, it is important for you to refresh the tab once. And initially for the first time, it will take some time for syncing all the conversation. Let it take those five, 10 minutes. Now, after that, this is where the beauty starts. Okay, like I said, if you want to search anything in your chat, you can do that. So for example, if one of my clients, let's say whom I worked two months back, three months back, calls me, hey Rupa, can you share that script again? And I know I had used ChatGPT, but I don't remember two months back where it is. I need to keep on scrolling. That is going to be a lot of time. All I can do, the name of the client is MMB, let's say and I just search for it and boom, on the third result, I get this MMB work what I have done for them. Super feature. One more thing is you can add out folders out here. So if you click on it, you get an option to add, rename it. So for example, if you could see out here, AI video work is a folder what I've created and it has all the AI chats, which I used a lot. So you just create a new folder and you just keep on adding, dragging and adding in it and boom, it just organizes your chat smoothly. Now, one more thing, as I mentioned, if you want to find that perfect prompt, it's always task. You have to think through it. You can just click on community prompts and you can search with the most used ones. You can see uh, the category, the language, and let's say you want to search for YouTube script. Let's say I click YouTube and I sort by most used one. Boom, I have this prompt which I can just copy paste and I can edit the one which I'm not liking. You can see how many views, how many likes it has got. You can select category, you can select language. So you have access to the most used prompts or the prompts which are working the best. Once you click on prompt history, you can see all the prompts you have given. I have just added it for this video again. So those prompt history is gone. But as you start adding your prompts, you can import your prompts, export them, etc. I can save the prompts that I use the most. All I need to do is click here, add more prompts. And can you see this Insta? Can you summarize this in 60 words? This is not default. I have added it because I use it a lot. I have to concise a YouTube script to Instagram script. So it is, can you summarize this in 60 words with bullet points and also give me titles with five options. So I have added it. And next time, whenever I want to give this prompt, I don't need to type all this. I just click it on Insta. And can you see that? Of course, this is a new chat. It will not understand this prompt but just on one click, it wrote all this. So it has a lot of cool features. Of course, you can select the tone, you can select the writing style, you can select the language what you want for default. So just play around a lot of cool features and it saves a lot of time. I have been using it. The only drawback what I feel of this is once you remove the extension and add it again, all the work goes. So please make sure once you add it, don't try to remove it and then again add it because it will lose out few of the things which you have done. So whether you're a content creator, a student, or a curious mind eager to explore the boundless landscape of ChatGPT, 
this extension is going to change your interaction with ChatGPT. I hope you found this video interesting and test out this feature and let us know your experience in the comment section.